so I thought I'd come somewhere a little bit different for today's little ramble. Um, but this question kind of comes from um, a previous stream. I think it was a January stream. I'm pretty sure someone asked the question, are uh, vintage bikes, vintage mountain bikes, whatever, too expensive? Um, and I don't really think you can answer that question. Okay, so stop. Why are you trying to answer this question? It, there is no right or wrong answer to this. Parts are expensive at the moment. They're getting more and more expensive, but they're kind of worth it as well. If you're looking for that exact part, as I'm focusing on the Suntour XC Pro shifters there, Hope Hubs, if you're looking for those parts, they are going to be expensive. There's no way around it. Some parts, yeah, okay, they're overpriced. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, some people will try and get the most out of parts they can, most out of bikes they can, um, and if it's on eBay, price, prices will be inflated. So you're gonna have to struggle with that. And then there are also the, the, the bikes that have been listed as vintage or old, retro, whatever. And um, yeah, their price is somehow extraordinarily high. They see an old bike, boom, price goes up. So yeah, in that case, if you're looking for a base model, uh, Marin, for example, it's uh, a bit knackered. It's got base level components on it, but someone's seen that as a an old bike. Um, suddenly the price goes up. That's too expensive. Um, I I think there should be a component level versus uh, price sort of ratio going on here. Can you find those parts? Can you find that bike? Um, and does it match? Look, I'm not saying that all, all bikes are overpriced or uh, all parts are overpriced. Like, come on, some of my stuff I uh, obviously put up for quite a bit. Some people might even think they're overpriced. Um, I tend to sell stuff pretty much at the build price. This bike would never sell for what I've spent in it. It's worth more in parts, but then again, recently you've seen that. Uh, stuff that I found has not been priced that high. The off-road, the Proflex 752, bought that cheap. The doors, bought that cheap. Cloud Butler, bought that cheap. And uh, I also saw a Vitus 979 with a spare dual race wheel set go for so cheap, £132. Missed out on that. So, yeah. Okay, some bike parts, some vintage bike parts are super expensive. Some are necessarily so, but I really don't, you can't answer this question, can you? I, I'd love to hear what you think about it, but to me, I just do not think I can, I can't say yes or no to this. It, it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible to say this. And I was rambling on in this video and it just didn't make any sense. So I thought I'd try and clarify it a bit more here I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember who asked this question in the stream once but I thought I'd try and answer it here now um, so yeah thanks for watching um, hope you enjoyed this showing just a little few clips of it riding today with the all the uh, purple components I've added on the Vimto bike um, and yeah maybe we'll do some more if you've got any subjects leave them in the comments uh, but enjoy the rest of your day and uh, see you in the next video